I want you to take a moment and try to recollect some of the memes that have been popular this year. Whether that be the Ohio memes or the Grimace Shake memes, one man has been solely responsible for putting the nail in the coffin for all of these trends. Okay, that might be a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but today we're going to be looking into the mystery of the man CG5, who on numerous occasions has been credited with completely killing memes, and you might be asking, how does he do this? Well, if you don't already know, he makes songs about memes, and if you haven't heard them, then honestly you're probably doing yourself a service. However, that's not what we're about on this channel, we want to put things to the test. So today, not only am I going to be showing you whether or not he actually killed these memes, but I'm also going to be listening to all of the songs I talk about in the video, and you get to see my reaction to it. Obviously, it's going to be sped up because I don't want to A, get copyrighted, and B, make you listen to the songs, but I will be giving them complete and honest reviews. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, first off, I figured we'd start out with the song that he probably gets the most crap for, and the most credit for being the meme assassin that he is, and that is the Grimace song. This, of course, is talking about the Grimace birthday shake meme, and yeah, let's go ahead and give it a listen. Okay, honestly, like, uh, musically wise, how it sounded, it actually wasn't bad. Like, the singing and the beat w wasn't that bad. Um, the lyrics kind of make me, you know, wanted to die. But, you know, other than that, it wasn't, like, bad. If I was just, like, listening to it in, like, ambience and I couldn't make out the words he was saying, it actually wouldn't be too bad. But, yeah, if I actually, like, am conscious in listening to the words he's saying, no, I could not listen to this on my own. So, if we look at the date it was posted, it says June 30th, 2023. So, if we hop on over to Google Trends, we can see that on June 30th, 2023, was the peak of the Grimace Shake meme, and every single day after that, it drops. So not only does it drop a little bit after the first day, but you give it two days of this video being out, and it just sinks. It pummels, just plants straight to the ground until almost, like, irrelevancy. And it hangs on just for a little bit, but it's just going down. So it could be a coincidence. He literally conveniently posted it at the peak of the Grimace Shake, and then right after that, it instantly dipped down. And it is, like, exactly on the day. Like, June 30th was the peak of the Grimace Shake. And from after that video was posted, it's only downhill. Coincidence? I don't know. Next, we have one that uh, I'm a little scared about because I am vaguely familiar with this one. Uh, I made a couple TikToks about this. And yeah, this one I know is terrible, but I don't think I've listened to the whole song, mainly because I didn't think I could stomach it, and I probably can't. But we're gonna give it a shot anyways. Give it a fair review. Let's see what this one's got. I'm not even kidding. I actually like shed a tear. I'm not I'm not just doing this for the video. I'm not faking this. A tear came out of both of my eyes. Actually two in this one and one in this one. Like my eyes started watering. This is awful. <laughs> this may be one of the worst songs I've ever heard. Uh, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but no, this this was painful to listen to. Yeah, I knew that this one was bad, but you know, we gotta give it a fair shot over here. See if it's actually fire, you know, a little underrated Loki heat. No, no, this is this was terrible. The, I, I hated every second of this, and I would not be surprised if this absolutely killed the meme. This is this is terrible. No one wanted to be associated with the Ohio meme after this song dropped. So if we looky here, it says December 30th, 2022 was when this video was posted. And if we head on over to December 30th, 2022, we can see that it actually was at a low point and it went up. Now, here's what I'm thinking for this one. I actually think that the video gained more popularity for the meme solely because people were making fun of it. Like the video itself became a meme for how bad it was. So I think it actually had the reverse effect, not for the meme itself, but for the video of the meme became a meme. So it was kind of like a meme inside a meme, but you know, eventually once he got finally like beaten to death, it eventually, you know, fizzled out, whatever. And it, it's still popular for some reason. Why is it literally slightly lower than what it was when he posted that video. I don't know. I haven't heard this be used like non-ironically in a very long time, but it's still apparently decently popular. No, no thanks to CG5 though, but I will admit it does not look like he killed this meme. Next is one I'm decently scared of, and it is the Skibbity Toilet song. Now I did a video in the past where I watched every episode of Skibbity Toilet live on stream, and that was kind of brutal because it was insanely boring, but I mean this is just gonna be catering to like little bitty kids and like chronically online people, but we'll give it a shot.
Okay, so uh, final thoughts. Song was terrible. Singing was terrible. Timing was terrible. Lyrics were terrible. If the Ohio one didn't exist, this would be the worst one. But I feel like the Ohio one's so bad, it's it's just in a different realm. Because it feels like it was intentionally made to be bad. It could have been a marketing stunt. I don't know. This one seems like a uh, thought was at least put into it, but it's terrible. And I think if I look in the comments, unlike the Grimace Shake and the Ohio one, people are actually going to be praising this song. Let's actually put that to the test. So uh, first off, let's note that the post date was July 21st. But if my theory is correct, that people are going to be praising this song instead of trashing it like the Grimace Shake and the Ohio ones. Yeah, that's about what I expected. I was expecting something childish to keep up with the audience of the Skibbity Toilet series, but this ends up coming off with the theme of the series itself. It's dark and I like that. Great job. I know I used to listen to CG5, but then like I, I growed a brain cell and then I realized, oh wait, this is terrible. I actually might do that in the next video, revisiting old CG5 songs to see if they're actually good, if it was just like nostalgia at the time. As for the Google Trends, uh, it came out July 21st. And if we pinpoint that on the thing right here, it doesn't really have a correlation. In fact, it kind of popped up. But the problem with searching something like Skibbity Toilet is since it's such a big series, like it literally gets more views like in a day than a Mr. Beast video. Now in the long term, I think Mr. Beast does end up getting more views, but like Skibbity Toilet's huge. So every time a video gets posted, you can see it spikes up. And then until the next video goes up, it goes down. Yeah, I think it's just a video got posted on July 23rd is why it went up, not because of CG5's music. So I don't think he really had an impact on this because this wasn't one that was memed for being bad because there genuinely were people that enjoyed this song and praised it so it really didn't make a splash like the Ohio and Grimace song did because everybody was like okay this is cringy now all right this one's short so let's just get it over with it's a uh, peaches but he's singing it acapella oh no Okay, thoughts on that one. Um, he could actually like sing, like he, he has a, a decent voice. So that wasn't bad. He didn't really add too much to it. So, I mean, you can't say that this was inherently bad. Uh, the music video is pretty terrible and I, I have no idea why this guy's here. <laughs> and also I find it funny that he calls it acapella, but there's clearly some voice effects and vocal effects going on. It's not just him layering his voice on top of other versions of his voice. There was clear like synth and auto-tune going on in there. But yeah, you know, ignoring all that, it's not offensive, I guess. I wouldn't imagine this one makes an effect, but it was posted on April 19th. Let's see. Oh, look at that. April 19th would have been right here when Peaches Jack Black was at its highest. Oh, and it took a massive dip after that. Now that could be because the movie came out and it died off. That is interesting that he picked literally the peak to post the video. Like he posted the video at the peak and uh, you know, during memes, you don't know what's going to be the peak. Like when Skibbity Toilet was on the rise, you didn't know that it was going to be as big as it ended up getting. Not saying he really contributed to it, but, but it is food for thought. But I don't think that video was offensive enough or cringy enough to necessarily cause a downfall. I think it was just, this one's actually a coincidence and just perfectly timed. All right, we turn back in time a bit to find this one. This is the Talking Ben song. I don't even think I've actually heard this like at all, which I hadn't heard the Skippy Toilet one either, but I, I genuinely don't know what this is going to sound like. I imagine it's going to be pretty bad, but we'll, we'll see. This one I feel like could have killed the meme, but there's only one way to find out. See if the song's good. Let's give it a listen. Okay, I'm gonna cut straight to this because I want you to know I'm not faking this. I don't know if you can see this on camera. I don't know if I have a good enough camera. I actually have like tears coming from here. This song made me cry. I'm, I, I wanted to go straight to this to show you that I'm not faking this. This song brought tears to my eyes and not in a good way. This genuinely might be worse than the Ohio song. I'm not even kidding. Um, cause there are a few like meme sounds in the Ohio one that made me chuckle just cause it was unexpected. This was like painful. And you know, a CG5 song is usually painful. This was painful, painful. This was bad. Why does no one, I don't, I, I haven't heard crap about this song. Like even when the Talking Ben was a meme, I don't remember hearing crap about this song. This is genuinely probably his worst one. Where, where, where was this? Where were the memes about this being bad? Maybe, maybe I just missed it. Maybe this did kill the meme. No, people love this song. He put a lot of time and emotion out of this. Let's give him a lot of respect. This is insane. People are me writing this song. This song is terrible. It actually brought me to tears in a not good way. Okay, it was posted March 4th. Let's see what he did. Okay, there's a good chance he killed this one. He hit it on the downslope. So, okay, he posted this on the downslope. So it had already reached its peak and it was falling off. 
and then he decides to post this as like maybe a last resort he he's usually pretty good on his timing whether he killed the memes or not he's usually at the peak of their memes i mean most of these he's been at a peak but this one he caught it on the down slope but it only went down from where he was at it's honestly hard to tell with this graph but he definitely didn't time it right but i mean either way this was one of the worst songs yet if not the worst and i felt like to tie it all up we should look at the newest cg5 song that actually literally came out like two hours ago the we live we love we lie song uh you know the blue smurf cat meme uh haven't heard anything about this and actually i didn't know that this video had come out until i started recording and researching for this video and i accidentally stumbled upon this like i already had the idea for this video before this came out but i'm like oh i could just throw this into the video too this is like a really good idea because we can go ahead and keep tab on the google trend and see like what kind of peak it's at right now and see if he actually does end up killing it i've had a bunch of people comment on my smurf cat reaction videos talking about how cg5 is going to kill this meme or how cg 5s already ruined it or whatever but he hasn't posted a song yet but this might be the nail in the coffin for it yeah but let's give it a review and see how it goes I'm not even gonna lie, this one wasn't that bad. To be honest, it's probably one of his better ones. It does sound very generic. It sounds like a generic CG5 pop song. The vocals are, you know, as per usual, whatever. The lyrics aren't too offensive. I mean, for making a song about a meme that's inherently cringy and already on its downslope of death, it's not that bad. Because usually he does catch the memes right when they're- he's really good at timing, I'll say that. Um, I'm gonna interrupt myself in that he's very good at timing, if I haven't mentioned that in this video. He always catches them at their peak. Uh, it might- this one might be on the downslope a little bit. I was kind of skeptical of it at first. When I came into it, like, halfway through, kind of had more of an open mind, I was like, it's not terrible. Am I gonna listen to this? Absolutely not. I'm not necessarily flaming this one, so good job, CG5. You didn't utterly embarrass yourself this time. Also, the graphics for this are amazing. I will give that to whoever did those. So if we hop on over to Google Trends, uh, we can see that over the past 30 days, uh, it, it took a dip and it actually came back. So this has been a meme for a little longer than I expected. It's been, it's been, a, uh, what is that, like two weeks? Yeah, it's coming up on two weeks. And it, it's just starting to take a dip now. I don't know if it's going to come back up again. It's like the stock market. I don't know if it's going to raise again. But as of now, it does look like it's on a downside. But I think this will probably be the killer for it. Because usually memes like this last about two weeks. This one's pretty stupid in my opinion. I've never really liked it. Uh, unpopular opinion, I guess. But yeah, I feel like this is going to be... The killing for it not not necessarily cg5's fault but i do think that this is going to be the end and i think cg5 is starting to get the reputation especially because of his more recent videos that he is the meme ender or whatever he is the, the grave digger for memes that people are going to say it's his fault but honestly i don't think this one will be his fault necessarily but i think people make such a big deal about it that it will end up being his fault anyways even if it wouldn't have been without his reputation but yeah, wh wh whatever. I guess you could say that he's gonna be the end to this meme just because of his reputation. Just so we can get some more data, I looked up Blue Smurf Cat, and it it's about the same thing, kind of similar graphs, except for this one's dying a little bit slower. But yeah, thank you all so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Speaking of videos like this, there should be more up on screen here. Also, don't forget to check out channel memberships and the Discord join link. They are both in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.